Welcome to Mini Orange. Mini Orange provides a single sign-on solution for Magento and as we know it is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So in this video, we are going to set up Magento single sign-on with Azure AD using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Log in into Magento admin dashboard. Enter your username and password to log in. You are logged into your dashboard. Now go to the SAML SP extension from the left menu. Click on the account from the list. You can log in using the username and password associated with the Mini Orange user account. Click the submit button after entering your username and password. Here you will require the license key to activate the extension. Click on the where is my key? Click on the link provided to get your license key. For the license key log in to the Mini Orange account. Enter your email ID and click on the login button. Now enter your password here, and click on the login button. Here you can see the license key to activate the extension copy it. Paste the copied license key in the text box. Accept the terms and conditions before activating the license key by clicking the checkbox. Click on the activate license button to activate license. Now click on multi-site settings tab. You can enable SSO for specific subsites by checking the required subsites from your multi-site environment. SSO will only be enabled on the selected subsites. Now go to the Identity Providers tab. Here you will get all the credentials required to set up your identity provider. You can also select your identity provider from the drop-down menu and you will be prompted with a button which will redirect you to the complete setup guide. Here you will get all the metadata URL that you required while configuring your identity provider. Copy it and keep it handy. Firstly let's configure Azure AD as an identity provider. To set up your Azure AD as an identity provider, log in you are using Azure AD credentials. Now click on the Azure Active Directory. Go to the Enterprise application from the left menu. Click on the new application. Now click on the create your own application. Enter your app name in the text box. And click on the create button. Now click on the setup single sign on card. Select the SAML as a single sign on method here. Click on the edit for edit SAML configuration. Now click on the add identifier and copy entity ID from the Magento SAML SP extension. Copy entity ID. Paste copied entity ID here. Now click on the add reply URL. Copy ACS URL from the Magento SAML extension. Copy ACS URL. Paste copied ACS URL in the text box. Now go to the logout URL and enter logout URL from the Magento extension. Copy single logout URL. Paste copied logout URL in the text box and click on the save button. Now let's see how to assign users in Azure AD. Now click on the users and groups from the left menu. Click on the add user and group. Now click on none select and assign users from the list. Click on the select button after selecting the users. Then click on the assign button. After assigned users go to the single sign on tab. Now go to the SAML certificates section. Copy app federation URL for the Magento SAML extension configuration. Now, let's set up Magento as service provider. Go to the service providers tab. Click on the upload metadata. Enter your identity provider name in the given text box and also paste copied app federation URL in the upload URL text box and click on the upload button. Copy SAML logout URL from the Azure AD. Copy logout URL. Paste logout URL in the text box. Scroll down and click on the test configuration button to see your test configuration values. Here you can see the test configuration. Click on the save button to save all the configurations. Now go to the sign in settings tab. In the show link on default login page section. Here you find the option the enable the login link on admin and customer login page. If you want to create automatically admin users and customers while SSO if they do not exist. Enable this setting. Click on Save button. Let's see how it works for the customers. Click on the Sign In. Here you will see SSO button on your customer login page. Click on the button and perform SSO using Azure AD. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. 
Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Congratulations! The customer successfully logged in using SSO. You are logged out successfully. Now, let's see how it works for the admin. Here you will see the SSO button on your admin page. Click on the button to initiate SSO as an admin. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Congratulations! Admin successfully logged in using SSO. You are logged out successfully. Let's see how to configure attribute mapping. Now, go to the attribute mapping tab. Attributes are user details that are stored in your identity provider. Attribute mapping helps you to get user attributes from your identity provider, IDP, and map them to Magento user attributes like first name, last name, etc. Firstly, enable the update attribute checkbox. This helps you to update automatically users changed attributes. Now go to the attribute mapping section. Check the test configuration results under the service provider setup tab to get a better idea of which values to map here. Map to username, email, first name, last name, role values according to test configuration. Now click on the map billing slash shipping address checkbox to map the billing address value. Fill the billing address attributes to map the billing address value. If your shipping address is the same as your billing address then enable the same as billing address checkbox. Your shipping address gets automatically filled. Then click on the save button to save mapped values. Now scroll down to the custom mapping section. In this section, you can add custom attributes that are received from your identity provider. Enter the attribute name which you want to get from the user. Then click on the add button to add the field. Go to the test configuration and enter the value in the text box. If you want to add more attributes to get user information, follow the same process. After entering all the custom attributes, click on the save button to save all the attributes. If you want to delete any custom attribute, copy the attribute name and paste into the enter attribute name field and click on the delete button. Then click on the save button. Let's see how the attribute mapping works. Click on the sign in. Here you will see SSO button on your customer login page. Click on the button and perform SSO using Azure AD. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Here you can see mapped attributes that you mapped in the mini orange SAML extension in Magento. Let's see how to configure role mapping. Now, go to the role mapping tab. Role mapping can be used to assign different Magento roles to the users based on their SAML attributes. The particular roles will be applied to users once they meet the specified conditions while logging into Magento via single sign-on. This feature allows you to provide user capabilities based on their IDP attribute group values. Before enabling this setting, please make sure you've configured the attribute name in the group, role field of the attribute mapping section. If you do not want to automatically create users if roles are not mapped, then enable do not want auto create users if roles are not mapped here checkbox. If you want to update backend roles on SSO enable this checkbox. If you want to update front end roles on SSO enable this checkbox. Let's configure role mapping for administrator. Copy group from the test configuration which you want to map to the administrator and paste it into the text box. Now let's map the group for the customers. Copy group from the test configuration and add it into the text box in which you want to map roles for the customers. And click on the save button to save the configuration. 
let's see how the group mapping works for the customers. Click on the sign in. Here you will see SSO button on your customer login page. Click on the button and perform SSO using Azure AD. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Go to the admin dashboard. Click on the customers from the left menu bar. Then click on the all customers. As you can see the user has been automatically created and the wholesale role assigned to it. You have successfully set up group mapping for the customers. Let's see how the role mapping works for the admin. Here you will see the SSO button on your admin page. Click on the button to initiate SSO as an admin. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. You have successfully set up role mapping for the admins. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries feel free to contact us at magentosupport at securify.com.